Hello, welcome to BBC World News. Part of the stock exchange in the Indonesian capital Jakarta has collapsed. Images from the scene show pieces of ceiling and broken furniture in the lobby of the building. Our Asia business correspondent Karishma Vaswani is following this story from Singapore. She's been speaking to eyewitnesses. I've been speaking with uh, people who were in the building at the time of the this structural collapse. And uh, as you know, one of the offices of this building, or one of the tenants, I should say, is the World Bank, along with the Jakarta Stock Exchange. And a staffer there was able to tell me that after he heard this loud, resounding thud, uh, the team members, he and his other uh, uh, employees of the World Bank, were evacuated from the building, along with dozens of other people from the building where the Jakarta Stock Exchange is happening. House. Now, what he was able to tell me and what other eyewitnesses there were able to tell me is that it appears that it is the mezzanine walkway uh, that connects uh, the Jakarta Stock Exchange building. It, it's a bridge that connects it to the other tower. And that's the part of the building that appears to have collapsed. There's a great deal of confusion and chaos, as you can imagine. Local television pictures are showing uh, scenes of people who've been evacuated from this tower outside of the building standing outside of it there are police on the scene as well as fire engines we understand and at this point in time a, an unconfirmed number of injuries so a great deal of confusion and chaos uh, at the site and still no confirmation as to how this collapse actually happened and Karishma do we know how busy this part of the building might have been at the time well, Karen, it's thought that the collapse happened around lunchtime at a time when many people would have been heading out to take their afternoon break. Now, this is a part of the city that you can't avoid if you live and work in Jakarta. It is a major part of the central business district, and it is a towering, very prestigious building across the Jakarta landscape. And it is a very well-constructed, well-made building. In fact, we understand that other tenants uh, of this building include Ian Y some smaller embassies, oil and gas firms. As you can imagine, a really integral part of the J Jakarta financial scene. And it's also right opposite, opposite a major shopping center in Jakarta. So a very busy area and an area that we understand to be cordoned off by police now as the recovery efforts continue, as the investigations continue in this uh, scene outside the Jakarta Stock Exchange. Karishma Vaswani.